Welcome to 5D Earth. My name is Claire, AKA The Love Doctor. And I've known the beautiful Kerry from My Health Yoga for a number of years now. My journey or my shamanic journey started a long time ago. Um, I started getting visions from the earth, from the plants, um, and it's pretty much all led me to this particular moment in time. What I wanted to share with everyone today is something that might give people a little bit of hope with what's happening at the moment. Uh, it comes from the Incan prophecy and um, the Andean shamans and the Kiero shamans who were based up in the Andes, the majority of them up in the Andes or, or Cusco as well, they've had uh, a, a prophecy for a number of years now, a number of generations about this particular moment of time that we are, we are in. And it's about the, the floods, the fires, the chaos that's happening everywhere. And they say as we move through this particular period, we are actually going to come back into Aini or come back into balance. So Aini, in, in terms of the shamanic perspective, is around restoring balance. And that's restoring balance between the lower, the lower world, the middle world and the upper world. And at this particular moment in time, it's really important to connect with our dreams and our destiny from the upper world and anchor it into the earth and anchor it into the lower world, the middle world. So one of the ways we can do this is through prayer and through prayer offerings to Pachamama, to the earth. So from the shamanic perspective, we only get sick when we disconnect from ourselves. So people that are connected to the earth or under the earth are gonna move through this transition or already in this particular transition um, as, as you move through, through the next few weeks, months, years. And one of the ways you can do this is through what they call a despacho. And a despacho is essentially a prayer process uh, that you can put flowers, you can put chocolate, alcohol, all kinds of things, mapacho, tobacco, and you offer it to the earth and to the ancestors. So this is something that I was taught around three years ago from one of my shamans in Canada. And it's something that absolutely changed my life. And what it does is it helps restore balance in your inner world and also to the land and to the area where you are. So, for example, a good way to do this at the moment, on, where we are right now, we are on the land of the Bulguru Kaba people. Uh, the Bindal people were also uh, the original custodians here in, in Magnetic Island and Townsville. One of the biggest challenges from the shamanic perspective is the energetics of souls or, or the land not being acknowledged for hundreds of years. And this goes way back to Machu Picchu, when Machu Picchu was taken over and Uluru. So what we're seeing now is a shift of power from, uh, I suppose, the government, the corporations at the top, the elite, back to the indigenous and the energy is moving back to the land. So if you do the prayers and if you take part in, again, acknowledging the answers, acknowledging the history of where you are, you're actually going to be aligned with this wave of energy that is moving towards abundance and um, balance in, in this cycle. And this is one of the, the things that was talked about in the Incan prophecy. So the return of the Inca, and it's about people making the effort to reconnect with their divinity and who they really are, which is all part of nature, that we're all one. So if you want to do a despacho, it's a pretty simple little process. You can have a look on there. I've got some details that you can um, contact me about as well. But essentially it's flowers. You literally use your breath to blow your prayers into the flowers or to the leaves. And then you literally send the offering out to the earth. So. That would be something that every single person can do and whether you're able to be outside or you're inside, you can still set this up and acknowledge uh, the people of the land and acknowledge the ancestors that have come before you. And as we move forward, actually asking for any or balance to be restored. So there's a lot more that we could go into around the Incan prophecy, um, but we're gonna talk about that a little bit more later on. So. Yeah, that's something I think everyone can do. And uh, it's a beautiful, not only is it a beautiful way to offer gratitude to Mother Earth, 
But it's so important to be appreciative of everything that we have in our life and it's so easy to disconnect from what we have available to us. So gratitude is also essential because when we're in gratitude, we're in our hearts. We're not in our heads, we're not in fear, which is the gut brain. So this process also helps people to be in our hearts because when we're in our hearts, we can have compassion, we can have awareness, we treat other people in a different way than when we're in our heads. So, Focusing on the things that you're grateful for is also key in this particular process, but you don't have to have done a prayer offering to that. That's something you can just focus on yourself. You can do a little process called coherence, where you literally tune into everything that you've got in your world, focus on the feeling of gratitude and the feeling of compassion, and that instantly raises your vibration out of fear and into the heart awake or into the heart vibration. So being in the heart is absolutely key and also being around people that are in a heart vibration. If you're around people that are constantly in fear or in the gut brain energy we call it in terms of um, the different levels of awareness in your gut, your heart and your head, then it can be harder to be peaceful or in your heart space when a lot of people are around you are in fear. So, that would be one of my tips for anchoring in this beautiful new energy and also not having any fear, not having any fear of death, knowing that you know our death is inevitable, but what can we do to transition towards being at peace when we are, when we are gonna cross over? What kind of life do we wanna live while we're here on this planet? And what can we do to continue the journey of our soul or our spirit as we move forward?